Hey everyone, welcome to, uh, what's wrong with me? Hey everybody, welcome to DMX Canadian Motocross Weekly, brought to you by Renegade Fuels. We're here at round seven of the Canadian Motocross Nationals here from Riverglade in uh, Moncton, New Brunswick. Uh, the day today here on Saturday, Amateur Day, started off pretty rough, ended rougher, uh, rained pretty much all day, as you saw from the little intro there. There were rivers and lakes all over this place. They had to actually cancel the second motos. So it was a little rough. The forecast is for the weather to change and get a lot better. So hopefully we're looking at uh, good racing tomorrow. So it's Saturday update. So let's take a little walk around and see what uh, everyone has to say. Oh, don't have to walk too far. Oh, Look who hello it is. there. It's number 23, Sean Moffenbeyer. I am. How are you doing, John? <laughs> I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing well. Uh, you're sitting, what are you, eighth in points right now? Yeah, eighth. Yep. It's and, a pretty close battle there. What's it going to take to get you to maybe fifth or something? What are you looking for? Uh, basically, it's from... 10th till uh, you know about sixth place the points are really tight in there and uh, it's pretty much anybody's uh, anybody's weekend right now you know if somebody has a bad weekend somebody can uh, pretty much go four positions either way so it's just going to take uh, some real consistent riding and uh, just stay up on two wheels and ride a good solid two motos every weekend now we talked about this last week after uh, after St. Julie it seemed like at the midway point on, you were just picking guys off and closing up those gaps. So is it fitness? Uh, what's it going to take to get you to get, uh, was it maybe a better start and then move your way forward from there? Or what, uh, what are you trying to do? Yeah, for sure. I struggled with, uh, you know, both starts at St. Julie, but uh, I worked on a little bit this week. And uh, I think I'll be good for the weekend. And, you know, I'll get those two starts. And as long as I'm inside the top ten or top five, I'm, uh, I'm happy with that. And, uh, you know, once I'm there, then, you know, I'm, I'm just as fast as those guys. You know, I'm with Keist and those guys. So mm -hmm. I believe I can uh, run with those guys. I just got to be up there with them. Yeah, yeah. So do you like this track? I do. I do. I've had my uh, two best finishes here for the last two years. So. Okay. So what did you think of the rain today? And you think uh, it's going to be a mud or tomorrow or a dusty race? Uh, after watching the amateurs and stuff, you know, they got around pretty good. So I think it's uh, just the first couple, two inches or so, that's going to be really muddy. And then... If they uh, scrape it tonight and, you know, put the tillers in there or whatever and uh, get her good for the morning, then I, I think it'll be good, really good, actually. All right. Well, good talking to you and good luck tomorrow. Thank you very much. Hey, I've caught up here with uh, number 109, Ian Hayden here. Ian, how you doing? Good, man. How are you? I'm not too bad. Uh, last week we spoke about it. You left actually after time practice, I think. Uh, what what uh, happened last week? Yeah, I uh, had some stuff going on at home with a, a family member of mine. got pretty sick and uh, some stuff went down on Saturday night at the business and stuff. So I just had to go back. Nothing, uh, nothing major with the business really came from it, so that was good. So I got back and just had to get that straightened away. We were in the middle of summer camps, right, and I didn't want to jeopardize anything there or have anything go wrong. Um, the staff did a great job managing it until I got back and then uh, yeah so it's just kind of personal stuff now with my family and trying to get my uh, my family members all back together and everyone healthy so thank you for the concern it's good oh, okay well sorry to hear that uh, so what are you hoping for this weekend now that you're back <laughs> finish two motos maybe <laughs> that'd be a good start I've had a, a rough couple weekends but you know I'm super appreciative of everything with the team and everybody Rockstar Suzuki Andre the whole crew it's been cool and uh, if this rain gets out of here anytime soon I think we're gonna have a good day tomorrow yeah so. and do you like this track yeah man I mean it's a, it's a decent track for sure it's similar to what I practice on at home with Moto Park and then uh, the people here are just so rad, you know. It's always a nice place to come. So, yeah, I'm excited. It's been a few years since I've been here. And like I said, after the last two weekends I've had, I just want to finish 230s and, and, and finish the day off strong. So, yeah. All right, well, cool. We all hope the same thing. So good luck tomorrow. Thank you very much. Awesome. All right, we caught up here with uh, number 102, Austin Politelli. Austin, how you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing well. Now, word going around, you've got a pretty interesting week coming up. Why don't you tell us about that? Yeah, after uh, tomorrow I have to go straight to the airport and fly out to go to Loretta's and I race all week in Loretta's and then Saturday morning come straight back to Canada and race uh, Sandalee on Sunday. Man, so that's going to be pretty busy. Yeah, it's going to be tough, but hopefully work through it. Yeah, you got all the flights lined up and everything, you're going to be busy, busy? Yeah, I think so. What are you hoping for at Loretta's? Uh, hopefully win. Last year I got second, so this is going to be my last year there, so I need to win. All right, well, cool. It's uh, Saturday before the Sunday race here. What do you think of this uh, Riverglade track so far? Uh, well, it looks pretty muddy right now, but uh, I don't know, the layout looks cool. It's uh, really red, red dirt, so it should be good. All right, well, cool. Uh, I know you're trying to get out of here, so good luck tomorrow and good luck all week at uh, Loretta's. Thank you. All right, we caught up with local boy here, Mitch Cook, number 79. Mitch, how you doing? Number 79, yeah, pretty good. You didn't like the sound of that, did you? That's yeah, all right. <laughs> Added a few digits on there. <laughs> so what's up? You're racing the uh, big bikes. You bought yourself a bike, and you're just out here to have fun, or what's going on? Yeah, first bike I ever bought. Uh, Toys for Big Boys gave me a good deal on it, so um, 
yeah, I come out to uh, race the hometown national. Uh, it's not looking very nice right now, but whatever. Should be fun. Yeah, what, what are you hoping for tomorrow? I don't know. A good start. I, I funny is I have good speed going right now. I don't have I have good speed for about 20 minutes, so I just kind of maybe hold on for 20 minutes or however long I can, and that's it. I don't expect anything really. I heard uh, rumors going around that on the small bike you're keeping up with Tyler Medallia there on the old Pleasant Valley track. Is that true? Um, well, no. Me and him raced the the big bikes at the at the track a couple weekends ago, and we we traded off wins. We're going. I mean, I know the track well, so does he. But we we had some good battles going. I mean, he's obviously going to be faster than me. He's in better shape, but I can still give him a run for his money. Well, it's cool. I know it's always fun to take pictures of you. You always throw out some nice whips and everything. So we'll uh, be watching for that tomorrow. Good luck, man. Thanks a lot. Good job, Billy and uh, Mustache Man on the uh, DMX and MX form. You guys are doing a good job. Thanks. <laughs> All right, we got uh, 250 national champ and current points leader Tyler Medalli here. Tyler, how you doing? I'm doing great. How are you doing, Billy? I'm doing well. How's it feel to be the new hometown boy? Well, it feels pretty good. I mean, uh, I don't really get a chance to ride here too often, but I mean, I definitely know a lot more people in the pits now, <laughs> so that's cool. Yeah, so now you got a pretty big lead in the points, so uh, how do you go into these races now from here on out? There's only three rounds left. Well, you know, I was, go I was actually really looking forward to, to coming here and, uh, you know, just riding a regular race and just uh, trying to maintain and be smooth but with all this rain who knows it's probably going to be another mud race so I'm going to have to just uh, you know rub my rabbit's foot or something to get uh, get lucky maybe in this mud but I don't know who, just, uh, just try to stay smooth and uh, hopefully just you know keep it keep it up. So what do you do say you got uh, you're in the middle of the pack Kevin Benoit or Politelli or Schoberg or someone like that's out front do you charge charge all the way to the front or what do you do? Uh, most likely. <laughs> you only I know one way to race, don't you? Yeah, yeah. I don't think I need to, but I would. Um, especially if it's kind of sloppy. I don't know. I, I had fun at Morton, so hopefully, uh, you know, it isn't that bad. But, I mean, it, by the looks of it, it's really hard on top. So, um, I think if they chisel it, like, tomorrow morning when it stops raining, I actually think it's just starting to stop now. Um, it won't be as bad as it looks, but there's, uh, you know, they, they said five millimeter, but... I think mm -hmm. it uh, was like five millimeter every ten minutes. <laughs> Seemed like. But. Okay, now we heard also. I just talked to Mitch about this. Hmm. Uh, you guys have been practicing together, and he was uh, he was kind of holding his own out there. We got his side of the story. What's your version? Oh no, he beat me straight up at one of the races. Uh, we did a we did a local race at uh, Pleasant Valley, his track, and uh, yeah, I mean he's running really good. Like, he, you know, everybody knows that he goes out and throws upside down whips. Um, and uh, you know, whenever we go practicing together, he he's right right on me. So it uh, that definitely helps me uh, for training. So um, the only problem is I can't get him out practicing enough. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, but I mean, I got my friend Josh Archibald who comes uh, who practices uh, a lot with me, and he's going to be qualifying for MX2 um, uh, tomorrow. So should be good. Okay, so Mitch is running. Uh, keep talking about Mitch here, but uh, Mitch is running the MX1 class. What's your prediction for him? Oh, uh, I don't know. I want to say podium. Okay, there he goes. There he goes. Say something nice. <laughs> yeah. No, no. Whole shot and fade. Um, whole shot and whole shot and just maybe uh, maybe a couple guys get him. But I mean, I seen him. We did. It was like 20, 25 minutes, and we were, you know, going wide open on four fifties, and and uh, he didn't slow down one bit. So, um, you know, I know he's got it in him. So, hopefully, he can pull together. All right. Well, cool. It's Saturday. Good luck tomorrow. We'll be watching for you. Thank you. So that's what a few of the riders had to say. I thought there were some interesting stories there. First off, certainly Austin Politelli and that leading edge Kawasaki team there heading down to uh, Loretta Lynn's to compete in the A-Class right after racing here and then catching on a flight and trying to get right back up to San Delis for next week. So he's got a really busy eight or ten days ahead of him. So uh, good luck to him. Let's watch for him uh, down in uh, Loretta's and see how he does tomorrow. Uh, we've also got Mitch Cook, hometown hero here, going to be up in the MX1 class on a Toys for Big Boys bike. So it'll be interesting to see how he does. Uh, also, we heard that uh, Jay Burke is not actually here. He injured his foot a while back, had to pull out and get no points at uh, St. Julie, so he did not make the trip out here to Moncton, so hopefully his ankle and foot, are, uh, whatever it is that he hurt, is okay, and we'll see him next weekend, but uh, we'll have to find out on that and get you a story. The sun has kind of come out. It was out for a little bit. Uh, it's a little bit more overcast again, but the forecast is for decent temperature and weather tomorrow, so hopefully that means the uh, track will be good. They are working on it right now. It was very, very firm, so they did a great job in preparation for this rain. So I think we're going to have some good racing tomorrow. Stay tuned. We'll see you tomorrow.